Hi everybody, this is Sherry, and I just wanted to show you another card that I made for my besties design team. And yes, I know I I feel horrible that I've been behind and not been posting a lot because I do love my bestie images and I love that I can make them any size. But, you know, life's just getting in the way right now. But I've I colored um, a couple up, and I want to show you this one. And this is one of uh, Sherry's fall images, which I don't do Halloween, so I kind of skipped all of that. And I don't. If I had my way, I'd already have my Christmas tree up. And my husband's like, "You can't put it up till after Thanksgiving," and I'm like. That's why I bought an artificial tree last year, so I didn't have to wait, and they're still making me wait. It's driving me crazy. But I have a friend who gets very upset when I bypass Thanksgiving and shoot straight to Christmas. And she's a very dear friend, and I wanted to make her a, a Thanksgiving card. I didn't really say Thanksgiving, but I definitely, you know, took my stamp, and it was... Uh, I didn't write it down. Give me a second, guys. Here it is. It's a um, Hero Arts stamp set. Let's see if it has a name. Let me see. It doesn't seem to have a name. It just looks like this. And it has a lot of great sentiments. A lot of great sentiments that you can use. And this is the one I used right here at the bottom. Thank you for your friendship. And this this stuff is... I don't know what... I th it may be um, like the mat that you put around a picture. I'm not sure. Um, my husband's boss's wife gave it to me because she knew that I made cards and she had some of this stuff and it comes in humongous sheets. I mean like three by four foot sheets. So trying to put this stuff somewhere has been a little challenging but there was a couple small pieces that I knew I could cut pretty easily with my guillotine cutter and uh, they were looked like somebody had used part of them and this is the actual collar of the paper this brown and then it was white on the other side so I used the brown because it matched what I was looking for and I inked the edges of this with Tim Holt Tim Holtz Spice Marmalade Distress Ink and um, I colored my image in like I said with um, my um, my Copics and I did this image while I was down uh, visiting my son and daughter-in-law and trying to get ready for the baby shower and all of that stuff and so I didn't really know what colors or what paper I was going to go with but, you know, I had a basic idea of what I wanted my scarecrow to look like. So that made it pretty simple. And I had done this and had it on another card. It has been sitting here for, oh my golly, well, since the trip back for two weeks. And it just was driving me nuts. I just hated it. And I just kept looking at it thinking, will I start to like this card? And no was the answer. I didn't. And I thought, I can't send this card to my friend. I don't like it. And um, so I peeled my image off very gently. I put down some DCWV. Um, let's see, what was this one? It's the Pumpkin Patch cards card stock. And it's a matte stack. So all I, all I had to do was trim some off the top, and it was perfect. I put it down, I stamped my image, and I knew what I wanted to do to the back. I had seen something similar on somebody else's video, and I don't know who it was. I apologize. Um, I was at my son's house, so I couldn't you know, exactly save it on his computer. So I just tried to remember as much of it as I could. And if you flip it or it doesn't open up or anything, it, I mean, this stuff is 
really, th I mean, it's thick. But you, you flip it over, and I made two pockets, and I used the DCWV uh, Harvest Gathering mat stack for this one, or for the these papers. Now, again, I've had these packs for probably two years, this one for at least two years, and the other one I got last year. So I don't know if you can still get them. I used my Stampin' Up! Scallop Tag Topper Punch to make the tags. And then just some twine that I had gotten from the dollar store. I thought it looked more fall than, say, my, you know, striped twine was. And um, so I used it. And uh, I inked the edges of all of them, too. Boy, I am cold. And what I did was I just um, cut some pieces out of the paper. And this one says, uh, gather together. And they're all different lengths. And all of the papers came out of the DCWV mat stack. And so the tags can be, see I'll show you the difference. The tags can be longer in the bottom pocket because I could go clear up to here. And then this one stops about right here. And I just used my um, eighth inch score tape that uh, Maggie White gave me. Thank you, Maggie. I love that stuff. And I hate that I can't find it anywhere <laughs> and don't know where to go to get more. But I, that eighth inch is perfect because it just takes up just a tiny bit of space. So it's just great. So it gives you, you know, the little tags up in this pocket and then the bigger tag in this pocket. And this one was another uh, piece that I cut out of the stack. And it says, gather here with grateful hearts. And it's glittered, so it's kind of, or not glitter, but foiled, so it's kind of hard to see. And they just slide back in like this. Well, normally they do. What am I, oh, I'm hitting my thing. I'm hitting it underneath there. So it slides back in like that. And that one slides in like this. And then this one, I just cut a strip off and then put it at an angle. And it says, Harvest, Thanksgiving, Grateful. Um, and then the last one, I... Um, why am I having such a hard time putting these back in here? I do not know. And then the last one, I wrote a personal note to my friend on. And um, so... I um, did that for her because I'm just, I don't do a lot of Thanksgiving cards. This twine is, I don't know, it's kind of stiff, so it's really hard to get to stay in place. I may try using a, um, a small glue dot or something because it drives me nuts that I feel like it loosens up and I don't like that. But I mean, you could, I could have used two bigger ones but I wanted to use my uh, tag topper punch I could have cut some out on the Cricut you know I mean there was all kinds of possibilities I wasn't limited to this four you know so make one of these I made this one five by six it fits in one of my clear bags I'm going to mail it out and uh, and she will get it before Thanksgiving and then flip it back over and I'm also, I'm not sure if it will work because of how much space I left here. But I do have the Tim Holtz die for um, a stand like a picture frame has. So I'm going to cut one out and see if it will fit here with cream colored, the 110 pound recollection. So it's sturdy, cream colored paper. And if it will fit here without interfering with the tags and anything, I'm going to put it here so that she can sit this up, you know, as a decoration like that for Thanksgiving. And just know that, you know, I love her and I'm, I'm so blessed to have her for a friend. And, um, but I hope you guys like this. Let's see. I did go over some places with my white jelly roll. I used my gold, um gel pen for up here to do the collars which that was something I did because it matched the other paper I used but that's all right I think it still looks good and I did some of the straw with the gold gel pen to kind of give it you know like a glint like um I think straw would have if it were hit by the sun and stuff like that 
So it was fun to do and I had a blast collaring it. I'm still struggling, but I'm not giving up on my collaring. You know, I'm going to collar till I can't see the collar anymore. And, or maybe I'll just resort to making, you know, 8x10 or 8x12 cards or something. I don't know. So I can blow up Sherry's giant images giant so that I can still see them. Because I'm not giving up without a fight, people. I am going to collar till I can't see no more. So... I hope you guys like this. If you like Sherry's image, I will put a link below to her store. Check it out. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like this image. Tell Sherry, let Sherry know that you like what she's drawing and that you think they're as cute as I think. And I'll put um, the links for her store and I'll put the links for all of the DT members so that you can go check out the other stuff that they made. They, there's a, These ladies are so talented. They make me feel like an amateur but Jen who is Jen Evers here on YouTube is our DT leader and you know she's so great about you know letting us know not to compare ourselves to the other members on the team or to anybody else for that matter that you know we all come into this with different skill levels because that's you know not everybody's in the same place and um, and they want to show pay people that, you know, whether you're a beginner or intermediate or, you know, been doing this your whole life, that you can still make great projects. And that's one of the things that makes being on this design team so great because I have seen some of these ladies call her images that I just can't even fathom being ever able to call her that well. And I'm thinking, man, why would they pick me? You know, I can't, this lady's stuff is amazing, you know. And, um, and again, it's Marie. Um, I am just, Marie's stuff is incredible. And everything she does, even her videos look like, you know, she took them to a studio to put them together. And, um, but yet, you know, Jen's like, don't compare yourself to, you know, these people have different things that you don't have. And we all work with what we have. And, and, you know, it's all right to be impressed and, and, and in awe of somebody else's talent, but don't compare yourself to them. You know, know that you can strive to get to that point someday. And that's what I hope to do. I'm taking classes at Kit and Clowder on YouTube, and I've, my coloring of my clothes has gotten better. They have it for hair and skin, which I hope to take in the future. You know, so look out, Marie. I'm coming after you. I'm going to be as good as you one day. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, so go check out the design team. You will find somebody that works at your level and then somebody to strive to learn from. You know, so be sure to go check them out, guys. You will be happy that you did. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. I love you all. Bye.